public health doctors as well as uh, clinicians on the ground have to have their heads up. And that's because of El Nino. When warmer waters move into the Pacific, the atmosphere responds. And we saw the same messaging during the 2015-2016 El Nino with select regions facing increased risk for disease. El Nino can promote disease because it leads to more extremes of weather, including more extremes of wet weather, and that can lead to pooling of water. And pools of water is where many types of insects, including mosquitoes, can uh, multiply and spread. And those mosquitoes often transmit infectious diseases like malaria, Zika, chikungunya, and dengue fever. Now, this is not necessarily a Canadian issue. However, we could see more awareness when it comes to the spread of mosquito-borne viruses as we travel this year and within 2024. The World Health Organization has already started its messaging. And I think that that's one of the reasons why the WHO issued this warming. It's sort of saying, hey, guys, you know, don't wait for those that first trickle of those diseases. This is probably going to happen. Alert all your teams. Let them know. Look out for signs of infection and make sure that you test those people maybe even earlier than you usually would to determine if there's a virus in there and then institute the types of outbreak prevention measures that uh, we know work in uh, epidemics. And since the messaging has come early, prevention is key. We have the potential to have some vaccines that might be able to help us prevent it, as well as regular preventive efforts like making sure we're, you know, cleaning up standing pools of water. And in some cases, at what we do in Ontario and the rest of Canada is we larvicide. So we put um, things into standing pools of water and bodies of water to prevent mosquitoes from spreading disease. Many regions of Peru have already declared a state of emergency due to dengue fever. As this wet pattern unfolds, the fear is... Many other countries may join that list.